sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Miami Dolphins and the Green Bay Packers. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. This is taken just shy of the 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing to start here is Tua. Open man downfield is Waddle. He's got it. The 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. One play in the end zone on a long touchdown pass. You knew they wanted to get him involved. He's their go-to guy. First play, though. Wow. Yeah, and I remember when I was playing, something similar happened. I remember getting to the sideline, and my coach said, so what in a scouting report with circling him, putting a star by him, did you not What'd get you miss? <laughs> that he was a good player? And that's the question I would have for them now. You know, as you said, he's a go-to guy. How is he not covered? Now, I should say, covered well. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That'll be complete to Alan Lazar. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here, second and a yard from the 34. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's no gain on the play. And they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. A bullet throw, but incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. 27 yards, a big play there on fourth. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Top Brandon, this is a veteran back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards 222 on the clock. Two and now on first down. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. On first and ten, it's Mostert down to the 22-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to bomb that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Huh. 
from the 22. Tua into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Quay Walker, and the Packers are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Open man, here's Cobb. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, a 22. And that's how you shake up the interception and throw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. On play action, Rodgers. The right side, this is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Rogers now to throw. Got a man, it's Tunyon. Touchdown, Packers! Robert Tunyon, 52 yards. And the Packers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in corner number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here we go. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the play did on the last one. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Looking to pass. Tua. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the Packers are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. Rodgers throw complete here on target to Tunyon. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Meanwhile, Rodgers throw brought in by Watson. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, 
using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. looking to throw on third and two he finds Watson complete and down he goes taking it inside the 10 just shy of the five at the six it's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two minute warning second quarter two minutes to go tie ball game To throw it's Rodgers oh that's into a double team and it's intercepted picked off by Jerome Baker he's at the 50 he's at the 30 10 5 and he will bring it back it's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown well, what a game this has turned out to be for him. Remember, CD, he had the turnover earlier, and now the pick six, that's the cherry on top. You're absolutely right about that, partner. When you force a turnover on defense, you're the guy most excited about getting back out there and trying to force another one. How about him picking off that pass, setting his sights on the end zone? You know he wasn't going to be denied getting there either. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. That's going to be caught. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Now Jones. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones punching it in from a yard away. And the Packers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they'll have a little bit of time to work with. 35 seconds until the break. Tua going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. They find some open field here. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 74 yards. And the Dolphins will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is now 21-14. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. 
About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first down, Rodgers. That's complete, and once again, it's Cobb. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He'll complete this one to Watson. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. The kick by Crosby is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks at Taylor's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. Dancing to his left. That's into the hands of Waddle downfield. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Well, partner, I think the defensive fellas got the memo, and they decided to cover him on that play. Yeah, he's already up over 100 yards in this game. They tried a deep shot, couldn't get it. Yeah, when you've had that much success, finally, someone said, let's try and put a stop to it and put people on him. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Able to find Lazard. And it's a Packers touchdown. Alan Lazard, 71 yards. And the Packers come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Crosby with the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Okay, ready? The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's free going down the left side. It's 
a foot race. Touchdown. Well, and this is where quarterbacks' passing numbers sometimes get a little bit more inflated than they should because this is a short little pass, but it goes for big yardage. And talk about a quick answer. This looked like a missed assignment. You'd think someone would be able to rein him in after he makes this catch, but he's so slippery in the open field, he's able to take it all the way to the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They had gotten the lead with the opening drive touchdown in the third quarter. Now they relinquish that lead back. Could be in for an interesting second half. It certainly appears that way, doesn't it? Almost turning into one of those pendulum games, right? Where it swings back and forth. And who's going to make the play that changes that? That maybe it puts it on one side and keeps it there. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. There he goes, right side. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. But that offense trying to erase that deficit, get a little bit closer here and climb back into this game of the third quarter. Instead, they further their disadvantage, Charles, with a pick six. And that defense came out willing to do anything necessary to defend that lead. I think they looked around the huddle and said, who's going to make the big play? Who's it going to be? And the person just ended up in the end zone with the football. He was the one that answered the bell. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? To throw again on second down. Rodgers. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Rodgers to Cobb. Good for a Green Bay first. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Caught that look from you there, Pat. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Coming up on a second and six. Rodgers again now. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Cobb. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 33. Rodgers going to throw. Got a man. That's Lazard. And it's a Packers touchdown. Alan Lazard with his second touchdown of the night. And the Packers have got it back to within a score. Rodgers will throw for it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. 
From the 25 on second down, Tua. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Rasul Douglas picks it. And into the end zone, it's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception returned for a touchdown, and this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at the premium here. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And going deep for Hill. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Tug of Iloa to throw. Open man is Waddle complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 35. Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, so far, this game has gone the way the defensive coordinator had hoped. They've dictated things. They've not let him run the ball very well at all. He gave up a nice game there. I doubt it'll back off their confidence. They've played so well throughout this entire game. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now Mostert off the read option. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. That's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And the Packers are going to get it back here just past the 35. Oh, this is a great play right here by a very versatile linebacker. It's a zone defense, so he's responsible for one area of the field. And Brandon, I don't think the quarterback ever saw him. Or if he did, he saw him too late because he snuck into a great position there to pick that one off. This one swung out here to Jones. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. He's going to get this one complete here to Cobb. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 14. That one goes for 24 yards. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football.
Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. totally home free yet but it's looking good as they come up first and ten now Lovell trying with his legs and he's going to take it in touchdown Packers Jordan Love 14 yards and the Packers get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter what a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. Now, after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding hot right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now Tua connecting with Hill, and he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Tua. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to save every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Tua. Going right back to Wilson. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. This will be caught. It's Waddle. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Whether it's a touchdown or a field goal, or whatever it is, they need to score quickly here on first down. Tug of Iloa. This is caught. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. So now a big play here as the Dolphins will go for the two. Two to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. A big mistake in that spot. You got to let it go, Tim. They didn't give themselves a chance. They had an opportunity, touched it first. Now they're in a really bad spot. Yeah, next time you want a goddamn motherfucking showboat, nigga, make sure you win the game, bitch. Looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. 
Nah, nigga. Make sure you win the game, bitch. And you're so bold. Cut your music off, nigga, because you can't talk. Make sure you win the game when you showboat next time. No. You had those hands. Low. Make sure you win the game, bitch. I'm like, oh, he won a showboat. I said, oh, okay. I ain't gonna worry about it. We know you guys lose the sword, nigga. You gave up. The defenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're gonna need some more going forward. 